it is normal to have self-doubt as a spiritual practitioner and especially a medium. You know, people put pressure on themselves as mediums to always get it right, to always be perfect, to have all the right answers. But I'm here to tell you that that is not necessarily the case. Even developed mediums get a little wishy-washy and they're like, did I make that up? Let me tell you an example. So I'm in trance class, uh, trance development class with my mentor, Glenda, at Camp Chesterfield this weekend. And, and I brought through, as part of the exercise, I brought through two separate entities, one being my master teacher star and the other being some another deity that I have actually worked with before, channeled before, named Rising Phoenix. Now, the first time I worked with Rising Phoenix, it was such an overwhelming uh, experience. So fast forward to this past weekend when I'm in trance class and I bring through Star where it felt very, very, not, not super different, but different than before. Uh, but I felt more connected to her and it was interesting. Um, and I don't remember the messages too much, but I remember being a little more present in the moment. Now, then I bring through Rising Phoenix again and Rising Phoenix, I remember being such a big energy, right? felt like a normal deity this time. It just felt normal. And the whole time, my conscious mind kept saying, am I making this up? Is this even real? But my mouth was saying things. I couldn't tell you what I said. My mouth was saying things and and they introduced themselves as Rising Phoenix. And it was just really crazy. So then on the way home, um, and I even asked my mentor, I said, at the end of class, I said, why did that feel so different? She said, well, it has to do with the energies in the room. The the people that you connected to before were very experienced and there was a, a much bigger share uh, going on where we had a lot of new people who were just kind of observing and not in, incorporating their energy into the circle. I'm like, oh, okay, that does make sense. But then on the way home, I thought, did I make that? I mean, like that just felt, was that just channeling or was I actually doing trance mediumship? And and I said, and I got the idea in my head, which, you know, it's always funny because I always think it's my idea, but I know it's not. Um, and I said, well, okay, spirit, game on. If this was real, if I if I was actually doing trans channeling, if, if I was not making it up, what sign do you want to show me? What do you want to show me? And, and I saw oranges. I'm like, oh, here we go. We're back to the oranges. Okay, fine. Let's do this. Let's go. I'll keep an eye out for oranges. Now, fast forward to uh, the ghost hunt that night that I was doing at this paranormal investigation. Um, I am the, the resident reader, so I'll go in and do readings for people. So now for a little more backstory. I know this is long, but I swear it's worth it. Earlier in the week, I've been doing readings for people. And this reference, and even that night, this reference of work boots. And like I would see... A male figure to my right, but I couldn't see them, but I kept honing in on the boots. I was like, okay, is there something to do with boots? Or I kept I kept hearing Timberland boots specifically, not just work boots, but you know, and and for the two of the people, they're like, well, it makes sense for the type of work they did. But I was like, ah, it doesn't feel right. But anyway, so what I did was I would just say, you know what, we're gonna chalk that up to a weird thing. I have a feeling it's a sign for me at some point that I'm not quite registering yet and I don't know what it is. I don't know what this red, this this new sign with these boots are because the boots kept stomping like, look at me, look at me, pay attention to me. And three separate clients that kept coming up. I'm like, okay, this is silly. Why is this coming to my head? Fast forward to the ghost hunt. I'm doing readings for someone and the boots come up again. And I'm just like, Oh my goodness, what the heck? Now, keep in mind, just a few hours prior, I had said, show me a sign, right? And orange, is, orange was the, the, the sign. So I'm talking to this person, and then I look down and over, because that's where the boots were stomping in my mind's eye. They were stomping over there. I look over, there's a box. I'm in an office that they put me set up in. There's a box, an orange box, next to a giant orange circular bag. Any guesses on what might be on that box? I'll give you a second. Yeah, you guessed it. It's a Timberland Boots 
fox. And I just, I laughed. I laughed to myself because what was interesting was the person I was reading is actually someone who's attended my classes before. So someone that knew me, so it was, in my opinion, was a safe place to have that realization and a really good teaching moment. So once again, spirit came forward with the oranges. So if you've stuck around this long, thanks for sticking around for my story, but also let's go back to the main point of all this. Even the most experienced mediums have self-doubt. We sometimes question the information we're getting, whether it's mediumship, whether it's trans mediumship or channeling, or even just in a development class where we're working on psychism and getting signs. What I've learned is you have to trust the process. You have to trust that spirits got your back and that they are in this with you. So if you're ever self-doubting, uh, whether it's a reading or an experience, if you're doubting, always say, okay, spirit, show me a sign. Let's establish right now what is that go sign going to be. And obviously an orange did not appear randomly. However, an orange box with a sign that was leading up to all week, all week this had been in process. Spirit used that random sign to pull it all together for me. And because it was done in such a dramatic fashion, I don't think I'll ever forget that. So always be open to those experiences and those signs. So if you are interested in developing your mediumship skills, your psychic skills, or just basically your spirituality in general, make sure to check out my the link in my link tree and check out my upcoming classes. I would love to be part of your journey and helping you overcome your self-doubt or better yet, how to embrace it and utilize it and enjoy the magical journey of spiritual development.